We are going to work on a small Dynamo script in this class, which will allow us to automatically duplicate views and place them within the formats we select. This small script with just a few nodes will save us hours of work, and we will only take a few minutes to create it. So let's see in this class how we can do it. We have selected this example architectural project from Autodesk. Once it's open, we will go to our Dynamo icon, which is located in the Manage tab under the Visual Programming group. After opening Dynamo, we will create a new file by simply generating it from our file view. For example, from here, we will see this window, so we just click on New to open a file from scratch. Once we have done that, let's see which nodes we are going to work with. They are very simple nodes. If we think about what we want to do, in this case, the first point will be to duplicate an existing view. In the second part, we might want to name it differently than the original view. When duplicating views, as we know, we have different ways to do it. We can generate them simply as dependents or duplicate them with details so we will also need a node to justify or adapt that parameter. The next step will be the selection of the plane, in this case, the one we want to choose. And finally, what we will have to do is insert the duplicated view with the new designation into the plane we have created. So let's start with the nodes we need. The first one we're going to work with is the Views node. So right-click and simply type the word view in the drop-down. If we look closely, when we type it completely, views is the first option. It tells us that all available views in the current document will be duplicated based on our selection. In this case, we'll be able to access all the views in our project with this node. The next node we're going to use is view.duplicate options, so we'll also type view duplicate for that. And now we can see the node we need here. It tells us that this node will simply take the options we have for duplicating our views. It's essential to note that we'll find different elements, so be careful as some of them may belong to additional packages. Instead of right-clicking, we'll search for it in the library itself and simply type views followed by a space and duplicate. Shall we look for it here? Sometimes it's necessary to search for nodes using both uppercase and lowercase letters because otherwise, it may not be found. So, let's type views again, and this time without the S. Here we have View Duplicate option. It's very important that, in our case, at SBBIM Solutions, when we develop scripts, we try to use the nodes that meet our needs in the majority of cases without the need to install additional packages. While for Revit, we could use many packages and we often do, it's always better to develop elements using Dynamo's own nodes. In this case, it's more suitable for Revit because we won't have to rely on third-party packages and any potential updates or issues that may arise. So, in this case, let's select this node as we can see it here. The next one we're going to choose is View Duplicate View. So, we'll use it just as we wrote it. Let's add a period. And now we can see that the required node appears here. Left click on it, and we have one of the fundamental nodes for duplicating our views. How are we seeing it? If we look at the different inputs, that is, the parameters that this node asks us to complete, we will find, on one hand, the mandatory one in red, which will be the views that we select from here, from our views side. So we can already select one and in this case, we could go on by connecting each of the nodes. 
First of all, let's remember that we will always set our script to manual mode to avoid any issues. It also tells us that if we want a prefix and a suffix when duplicating and renaming the view. In this case, we do, so what we're going to do is search for it. Like here, a string is what we need. And let's copy it again, so we select it as is, press control, and when selecting it again, drag it. As you can see, we can duplicate a node very easily. Our string, for example, in this case, will be designated as work. And a hyphen. And then, the other string. It starts with a hyphen, and let's make it architecture, for example. We'll capitalize all the letters in this case. Once we have this, all we have to do is select the plane or format where we want to insert our duplicated view. So let's search for 19 in the library or right click. It's giving us the selection here, as we found it in the selection section, and this is the node we need in this case. This will allow us to select the plane we have in our Revit model. The last one we're going to need in this case, as we could say, is the Viewport's Boisset View Location node. So let's search for Viewport. Viewport in some cases, it's necessary to write it completely, followed by a dot, by, and quotation marks, to find exactly what we want. We have it here now. Simply click to select it. This new one will work as follows. It will require a plane, that is, we'll enter it here, a reference view that we want to insert in our plane, and on the other hand, the location of that reference view within our own plane. In this case, we'll simply search for the midpoint, depending on the format we're using. For this example, will you say one, so we'll divide it with a simple slider or a number where the location of that element will be found, so that it's in the middle point. We're going to connect each of our nodes as follows. We'll connect views with view and what we're seeing here, with view duplicate. We'll connect this output node with this input node. The string element with the prefix, and the ARQ with the suffix that we want the new view to receive when duplicating it. On the other hand, for the viewport, since it asks for a location, we're going to search for a point by coordinates, so we'll write point by coordinates. As we can see, it's the first one that appears, and simply with a number. We'll search for number. We can select a number with a slider for example, or simply write the number we want. In this case, we'll take it and duplicate it again or copy it to have the two references in our X and Y axes. In principle, the units we'll be working with will be the same as those in our open Revit project. Very well, with that done, all that's left is to connect the set section with set, the views section with. Now, once we place our dimension, let's take a measurement. We can see that it measures 1.0668 and 0 0.762, in this case, meters in each of the two aspects. Well, now, going back, we could use a slider here or simply leave the predetermined measurements for each of the different formats we could have. For example, we'll set 0.55 for the x-axis, which is the length, and for the y-axis, we'll set approximately half, around 0.35. In this case, we're not taking the element to its maximum precision. Let's rename it for a moment. We're doing this manually, but keep in mind that all of this could be done automatically, meaning we could also create the plane automatically and assign it automatically from Dynamo. However, in this class, to save some work and make it faster, 
We created the plane manually and now we're going to assign it. Simply right-click, change name, and we're going to do it manually within Revit itself. But we could also do this from Dynamo, but we didn't want to complicate the script too much so that we could see the potential of a small Dynamo script created in just a few minutes. We'll name it 00 and we'll directly designate the plane as 00 test. Click on OK directly. Now, we're going to duplicate a view, the one we choose. In this case, for example, let's take a floor plan view. We'll maximize it. We'll come here to views in the drop down menu, and well, we can see that we have access to all the views in the project. In this case, we want the floor plan view of the kitchen and cafe area. When selecting the options for duplication, we'll simply choose to duplicate them, for example, by simply duplicating them. We could also do it with details if we want to include dimensions. If we had added any other dimension element in the view, we'll directly click on Duplicate. We'll simply duplicate the element, and finally, the plane where we want to insert our view is 00 test since that's how we designated it. We'll minimize it. And now all we have to do is click on Execute, just as we're doing here. If we run our node, We'll notice that there are no issues, everything has been correct, and we'll see our plan automatically. A view has been inserted, but it's not just any view, it's exactly the view we requested. And if we look at the project browser, a new view has been automatically created and inserted into a plane designated as Work Bar Cafe Quiche in Plan Bar ARQ which is exactly what we had designated in our small script. We could also work with Dynamo Player to continue doing this in a smoother way and incorporate it into our company's workflow methodology.